I think the best thing about being a scientist, uh, regardless of the work that you do, is that you're going into the land of the unknown. Nobody knows what it is you're, you're doing and you get to be the first person to see these key results that might influence future medical treatments. My goal with my students is to give them a feel for how to take risks. The best research comes when you take a big risk and you try to make the discoveries that other people aren't trying to make because it's you know, too scary to go after because you might fail. We're looking at a new potential class of, of ways to intervene in human health. Microbes have been inside of us since humans have been on the planet, and they've learned over many, many years how to manipulate our, our physiology. What we are trying to do is learn which microbes might be beneficial and then also look for microbes that might be harmful so that we can figure out ways to remove them. This fosters a new way to start to look at how you might manipulate humans for different treatments of different diseases. If you're going to be a new graduate student here, you're not going to be lacking for attention if you want it. But also it's pretty hands-off if you want it to be that way as well. So you can sort of chart your own course. In the end, it's your journey as a graduate student to try to determine where you need to go scientifically. Here, your goal is to really learn what people don't know, to discover the things that are unknown. And to do that, you need to have a lot of flexibility to have a lot of support. But at the end, I'm sort of just a distant advisor to just be supportive to them and to help them push themselves to, to make the biggest discovery they think they can.